Another way to create images with Supermachine is through the canvas. The canvas is a great way to manipulate images but use the same technology as the image to image generator. To get to the canvas, simply click canvas in the top menu. Here you will see a box and you will be able to draw if you would like to draw or you can put an existing image across. What I'm going to do is show you how that works with putting an existing image across. So first of all, go down to advanced settings and if I want to change the size of the canvas, I can do so by simply selecting a different image ratio. You'll see that it's gone from square to now this portrait size. Then I can scroll down and find an existing image that I want to add to the canvas. When I hover over any of these images, you'll see that there is this canvas button. By clicking the canvas button, what it's going to do is it's going to copy that image and it's going to pull it across to the canvas. And then if I want to change the image, I can then draw on top of it. What I'm going to do for this example is I'm just going to take out the body of the image. I'm not going to be too exact with this and we'll just make sure that this body disappears. And then I'm going to write a new prompt. So I'm going to put photo of a Nigerian female wearing a snow jacket. Um, full portrait, professional photography, masterpiece, stunning so you'll notice that i've just added the tags like we've gone over previously in terms of how to get better quality images out once i've added my prompt i'm then going to go into the advanced settings to see if i want to change anything what i'll do is i'll put the steps as 30 just to give the details that i want the strength as 0.8 i think is fine Outputs is four and we'll go for the sampler of DPM plus plus 2M Karas that we like to use. Everything else looks fine to me. So what we'll do is we'll now hit generate. You can see that from generating, we have our four output images. You'll notice as we did within the canvas where we pretty much just erased half of the image with this white space that through the image to image process, some of these outputs have taken that more into effect than others. You'll see that this very much here has just deleted half the photo and put white at the bottom. Whereas some of the other ones has put snow, which is quite creative. And the others, we have our snow jacket in a close up style here. And here again, we have our character behind a snow mountain. So this is fairly interesting. And this is a way that you can use image to image generation by manipulating the images and drawing over them. There are other methods to create images using the control net method, which we'll go over later in the video. But for now, I just wanted to showcase how you can use the canvas to draw on an existing image and create changes to it. So let's get into some of the other methods that you can use within Supermachine in the next part of this video.